We just got a Dusk Gorilla Pro Smart Boost Dust Collector for our wood shop and decided to video the installation progress for you. Let's just dive right in. The DC itself arrived in a bunch of boxes on a single pallet. It was well packed, but the boxes arrived messed up with holes in them, the strapping broke, one of the boxes came loose in transit, and FedEx cracked my brand new driveway when they dropped the lift gate too fast on it. Off to a great start. Here you can see all the parts for just the dust collector itself, the DC. The pipes will arrive later. The motor is huge and weighs a ton. Actually, everything is large and heavy, but feels really well built. Ours came with a 35 gallon dustbin, but you can go for a full 55 if you want. Assembly isn't difficult, but takes some time to figure it all out. Most of it's easy, but some of it felt like they hired the IKEA instructions writing team to make our life difficult. So first up, we assembled the legs. Most parts that connect get foam tape stuck to them to make everything airtight. It works well on most of the parts, but on some, well, it's sort of an ugly mess and you can't help think that a laser or die cut gasket would have been better there. Assembly is pretty easy with most parts just using nuts and bolts and washers. And I like that most parts use the same size nuts and bolts so you don't need every socket you own out. But every now and then you get the idea that a tiny bit of extra engineering would have made this a bit better. For example, there's this washer that simply won't fit where it should. It feels like it was designed, but nobody that designed it ever tested out the installation part. It's a small non-issue, but still annoying. But none of these complaints compare to the swearing that will begin when you try to get the heaviest and most awkward motor on planet Earth, like eight feet up in the air to the top of the dust collection system. Pretty sure it weighs around 100 pounds, maybe a bit more. Now, we're lucky enough to own scaffolding, so we built a three-sided U-shaped box out of some 2 by 3 scrap. The box was screwed to the scaffolding so that when the motor sits on the box, it was the same height as the top of the DC where it needs to go, and we just slide it in. Getting the motor to the box is the next issue. We first got it three feet off the ground to a table. From the table to another two feet up onto a chair. From the chair, another foot or so up to the scaffolding, and from there, another foot or so up to the three-sided box. We did this in stages, and it still wasn't fun. You won't lift this motor by yourself. Forget the weight, it's just awkward to move around. It took two of us to move it with a third helping out. My advice is to find four really big guys you don't like all that well and have them move it. Once on, the rest is simple. Just lots of nuts and bolts and tightening and so on. Most of it's really well thought out. Some of it just isn't, but those are minor complaints. That was the DC portion, and it took us, I think, around five to six hours over two days, with the motor alone probably being half of that. Next up, the pipe. Oh, not the pipe. So we unpacked all the parts to make sure we got everything, and we did. I'll say that Oneida is great at packing stuff in foam and cardboard, whatever, and getting all the parts correct. Now the hard part, which I guess isn't hard, but time consuming. Very time consuming. Our shop's 30 by 40 feet, so 1,200 square feet total, and there isn't a ton of piping, but it still took three of us six days working two to three hours per day. So roughly, I don't know, 15 hours, let's say. It's just slow going, lots of screws, caulk tape, moving around, cutting stuff, and so on. And a lot of it is working over your head on a ladder, 10 foot ceilings in our shop, so it's tiring work. But Slow and Steady builds an awesome dust collection system. So you screw hanger straps to trusses, slide in pipes, screw them together, and rinse and re repeat it, I don't know, 10, 12 million times maybe? So I'll roll some of the footage I took each day as we progressed while talking about the good and bad of this system. Let's go over cons and complaints first. Price is number one. The DC unit was just over $5,000 US with tax and freight. The 250 or so I think was for freight. So pipes come in around 3,100, but add in another $800 in freight. Yes, $800 in freight for pipes. And then tax and it basically it was just over $4,000. So just over $9,000 for everything. Ouch. Next up is noise. It's loud. It's jet engine loud. We're gonna build a sound panel type thing to block some noise, but it will always be loud. I mean, you know that going in, of course, it's not the fault of the machine, but if you have close neighbors, you need to consider the noise level. It has a thing called dust sentry that tells you when the dust bin is full. When it is, a little red light goes off, cool. But when it's empty, it falses a lot because it sees its own reflection in the bottom of the bin, and then we have six more weeks of winter, or I don't know, I guess it just blinks its light. So to avoid that, they give you this circle of cardboard that you put in the bottom of the bin and leave it there. Why they just don't like line X the inside of the barrel, who knows. But it still falses even with the cardboard in there. They say once it builds up a layer of dust, it won't do that. But what's the point of the cardboard if it's going to false when you put the cardboard in? I don't know. Anyhow, it just feels kind of cheap that it does this. Most things feel really well made and thought out, but stuff like the washer that won't fit that I mentioned earlier, and how these knobs that hold the air filter fit, leave me scratching my head. A few not so well thought out bits like this are kind of annoying. Oneida's great overall. I love how it includes everything. It's a proper, you know, kit. 
So they gave us metal strapping to hang it from, but like four times more than we needed. Yet on the screws, they gave us about half as many as we needed. And we only got two rolls of foil tape when we really probably needed three. It's not a big deal. These are very minor complaints, obviously. I'm just explaining so you know what to expect and what not to expect. Most of the pipes fit in the various couplers and adapters without much fuss. But a few of the wide adapters felt like they were just not crimped enough or slightly oversized or something, so they required more crimping. But at least they give you a tool to do that. It's not a big deal, but, you know, just keep in mind. They include blast gates, uh, but they feel really cheap. And the thumb screws are really close to the pipe, so it's kind of hard to tighten them down and loosen them. It's little stuff like this that could just use a tiny bit better quality and engineering to kind of match the price point of this system, I think. The dustbin should come with a wheeled cart. It's heavy even when it's empty. They make one as I found out later, but it's an extra cost. 4,500 bucks before tax and shipping, and you can't toss in the wheeled bin cart? I mean, come on, I can make my own, but that's not the point. It's like specking out your Porsche only to find that the floor mats are extra. It won't stop you from buying the Porsche, but it's a nickel and dime annoyance that leaves you a bit soured. Of course, as with buying a Porsche, at the end of the experience, you have a Porsche, and it's awesome. And here you have a proper DC, and that is truly awesome, too. My last complaint is with the way the air filter hooks on. It's supplied with various easy on-off clamps so you can remove and clean it, but those clamps are just junk and just won't go on straight. It's not a huge deal, and it'll still work just fine. But again, it could be better. All right, all right, don't let these complaints throw you off. I'm purposely nitpicking so you know all of the good and bad here. Fortunately, the bad stuff is barely bad and not a big deal. Very minor stuff. The design process with Lisa at Oneida was smooth and easy. Measure your shop and two locations, make a drawing, email it to them, and for 400 bucks, they design your system. Unless you're in a single car garage, you want this done. And as long as you buy the DC from them, they'll credit you the 400 bucks back, making it free. They then provide you a proper CAD drawing showing the overhead view of the main ducting lines and elevation views for each tool truck. I asked to work via email, because phone calls are a pain for me here, and Lisa did everything via email for me. Easy. Better yet, she saved me hundreds of dollars by optimizing the pipe layout I suggested with her own more efficient plan. Nice. So this is their SMART system. I'm doing air quotes there. That means the motor will rev up or down based on your needs. It adjusts speed in real time as you open and close blast gates. I can easily run two to three tools at once, probably even four really, and as you open more gates it will speed up or down as needed. It also has a slow start motor so it doesn't jolt on and draw mega amps and comes with a keychain remote to turn it on and off. You just need a 30 amp double pull breaker for the 240 volt connection and you're off to the airport. That was a loudness joke. Anyone? Bueller? Okay, so let's power it up so you can hear it and do a few quick tests. So right now it's very quiet in here. The only thing running is a small window air conditioner. I'm giving you the background noise now. I'm speaking at a normal volume level. This is not the voiceover of the rest of the video. This is me talking right by the camera. And here's how loud this thing is going to sound. We'll see if it does it justice. sweeper, you want one of these by the way, is awesome and sucks in floor debris from several inches away. I did a quick MDF table saw cut on my saw stop which has the dust extraction blade guard on it and I couldn't see any dust coming out. With my previous tiny DC it would still leave dust everywhere when I made cuts. So far so good. Obviously I need more time using it to say how good this is but the early tests suggest I will no longer be blowing dust boogies out of my nose after a day in the shop. Pretty sure my lungs are thanking me already. So far, I'm very, very pleased with this Oneida DC. The pipes, the design services, everything they've done so far has been awesome. It's not 100% perfect, but it's really not far off. Well, hope you enjoyed that. This is the point where I ask you to like and subscribe. Do it if you want, skip it if you don't, but, you know, um, it really does help us out. Thanks.